Here's a problem uh, for heat transfer coefficients. This problem states for laminar flow over a flat plate, the local heat transfer coefficient x sub x is known to vary as x to the negative one half, where x is the distance from the leading edge of the plate. What is the ratio of the average coefficient between the leading edge and some location x on the plate to the local coefficient at x? So what they're trying to find here is a ratio of the average coefficient to the local coefficient. So let's write down these facts down. I'm sure it was confusing to listen to me just read the problem. We have a local heat transfer coefficient. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so the local heat transfer coefficient represented by H sub X. The average heat transfer coefficient is signified by h bar sub x. So we're trying to find this ratio. So how do we do that? Well, we know that h sub x varies as x to the negative one half. X is coming from the leading edge. And so we can take an equation here, and this equation should be found in your textbook. In fact, I'm sure it is. Um, there's an equation that relates the average heat transfer coefficient to the local heat transfer coefficient. And it states that h bar is equal to 1 over a sub s, which is, of course, the surface area multiplied by the integral of h dA sub s. And this could actually be simplified even more. Uh, in the special case of flow over a flat plate, h varies only with the distance x from the leading edge and from another equation, this equation right here. And for this case, in which it's laminar flow over a flat plate, as demonstrated in this diagram, This equation will apply for laminar flow over a flat plate. So we have 1 over the length multiplied by the integral from 0 to L, the length of H dx, H being the local heat transfer coefficient, dx being the change of x. So this is one dimensional, whereas this is slightly more com complicated because this is two dimensional. And this is very useful because if you have laminar flow over a flat plate, What you're going to do, 
actually any flow over if you have flow over flat plate you're gonna get you're gonna be able to use this one or if it's not a flat plate then you use this equation here but this one applies if you if it's a special case of flow over a flat plate 1 over L is equal to the integral of 0 L and we know that H varies local heat transfer varies as X to the negative 1 half and don't forget our notation here And this just becomes, using the integral rule, that becomes x to the 1 half over 2, which is the same as 2x to the 1 half. You add 1. And then you divide by one half. And because this is going from zero to L, we can just do two multiplied by. L to the one half minus well this is going to be zero so it's 2L to the one half 2L to the one half is this value here is equal to H bar So this is your average heat transfer coefficient. And what did the problem ask? The problem asked, what is the ratio of the average coefficient to the local coefficient? So if we have the average coefficient being 2L to the negative 1 half, and we have the local heat transfer coefficient varying as x to the negative one half which in this case is the same as l to the negative one half because l is just being replaced by x or x is being replaced by l in this case so local tra transfer heat transfer coefficient is l to the negative one half and so we got a ratio here and of course I'm sure you notice that these l's cancel out and we get two and that's the answer. Two is the answer. So it's really not that difficult of a problem uh, once you think about it. Um, it can be a little confusing once you're confronted, um, when you start learning these concepts and you're looking for formulas. And But it's really just pinpointing the formula, knowing how to do basic integration, and just comparing the heat average heat transfer coefficient to the local heat transfer coefficient. And it's really not that hard of a problem. See you in the next video.